Hi, Chess Tech fans. Uh, welcome to another edition of John's How To's. Today's a big day for computer chess fans and chess players of all strengths. Uh, Stockfish 16 is out. So what I want to do today is very briefly take a look at the changes that are in Stockfish 16, show you where to get it, what to get, how to install it, and then take a very brief look at uh, how it's different in a couple of important ways than Stockfish 15. So, first thing you do, uh, hop over to stockfishchess.org if you are more technologically inclined, and I'm going to try to put some links to this in the, um, in the YouTube chat, YouTube notes. Uh, you can also go to abrock.eu slash stockfish if you want to get all these different flavors of, window, uh, of, uh, of stockfish. I'll mention why this is important in a minute. But back to Stockfish 16, if you want to get the, the nitty gritty on, on the differences here, uh, click on the blog information here. And as we look at this, there's, there's a few points that are really sort of important. Uh, first things first, this engine is stronger than its predecessor by about 50 points in self-play. Um, and it wins up to 12 times more game pairs than it loses. That's basically, uh, computer engines are so strong right now that they have to test in pairs with unbalanced openings. Uh, because otherwise, if it's a balanced book, it's just going to be draw after draw after draw. So in unbalanced openings with game pairs, this new version wins 12 times more than it loses. Uh, 12 game pairs more. That's pretty impressive. Um, Stockfish, of course, does tend to top all the ranking lists and win just about all the major tournaments. Uh, Leela and Komodo being second and third, and we may do a video on Leela in the future. Um... The differences between Stockfish 15 and 16 really come down to, uh, of course, continual ongoing improvements like beneath the hood, uh, you know, how the search works, um, bug fixes, things like that. But there's uh, really been an important shift from 15 to 16, and that's that the neural network, the NNUE file, uh, has been made bigger. And what that means is it has more knowledge in it, which in principle should lead to better chess play. Now the drawback for an, uh, an alpha beta engine like this is that when you add more knowledge, it does tend to slow down the search. And so at quick time controls, um, there can be a small hit in playing strength. But as you do longer analysis, as it says here, um, the, the playing strength of the engine and the analytical strength grows. So with longer time controls and the sorts of searches that you know you'll be using the engine for, if you leave it on for more than a second, um, the the increased knowledge and the slightly depreciated uh, speed is more than made up for. Um, in recent uh, development iterations and included in 16, they've also found a way to speed up the architecture of the NNUE file. So even though it's bigger, the speed hit is not really as big as it could be, and that's pretty important. Um, you know, people like Stockfish because it's fast. And uh, the speed is still there, but with 16, there's a little bit more knowledge. The other thing that I think is really important is there's some usability improvements that they talk about here. Uh, the first thing is that the table bases, when you use table bases with Stockfish, they've been standardized. So uh, when it finds a table base win, the evaluation it gives will be minus, uh, plus or minus 200, uh, plus or minus, well, I guess minus the number of plies that it gets to. Uh, that is required to get to the actual table base. So that's kind of nice. It'll be standardized. You'll always know what it means. Uh, also, the evaluation system compared to 15 has been standardized so that uh, with 15 and 14 in particular, the evaluations were getting very, very high and very, very out of whack based on human intuition. Um, so you'd get a position and it said it was like plus 2.5 and you'd look at it and think, I can't understand why it thinks it's so winning. Uh, basically, the evaluations were just getting unskewed with, uh, with the positions that, that humans are used to seeing, mostly because those evaluations and that transition from internal statistics to centipawns to plus 2.5 pawns or whatever, um, that was uh, coming out of self-play where things were just getting unbalanced. So they have calibrated this, as it says here, a 100 centipawn or one pawn advantage uh, at roughly move 32 means that the, the engine has a 50% chance of winning the game against an equal opponent. And anecdotally, um, this shift really has, has had good results, uh, and we'll take a look at what that sort of looks like when we, we go into chess space. So, smarter engine, tiny bit slower, but not as bad as it could have been because of some improvements, and also much more usable. 
So great. So you want to download Chessbase, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Stockfish 16. How do you go about it? Well, we're going to go back to the main page and you're just going to click on don uh, download Stockfish. They have made this very easy for you. Basically, there are two flavors here that you're going to want to use if you're on Windows. Uh, if you're on Android or Mac, um, uh, you can follow the directions here. The directions I'm going to give you today are really just for Windows. So if you have a recent computer, a Ryzen, um, any of the recent Intels within, let's say, the past, oh goodness, 8, 10 years, um, you're going to use the AVX2 version. Uh, if you have an older processor, like an older Ryzen, uh, an older Zen pro um, <laughs> AMD processor, maybe you have an old Pentium you're still using, you can use this pop count version, and that'll work with everything, um, but it's going to be a little slower than the AVX. If you are looking for something faster, for example, if you have a really recent Ryzen machine, uh, you might want to use a BM2 compile. They don't have that on here, uh, so to get that, you can go to abrock.eu stockfish. Um, I will show you how to get there in a moment. You can't see it. There you go. Now you can see it right now. These over here are where the, all the different versions are. The one that says for Haswell CPUs, that'll work very well for a Ryzen uh, 5000, uh, 7000, things like that. Uh, and also the more recent Intels. But anyway, any rate, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to download the AVX because that is the one that works for me. I'm going to download it, click on it. And we're going to go to a chess base folder. You just basically have to put it somewhere where you know all your engines live. Mine all live in my chess base folder. So I'm going to go in here and create a folder for Stockfish 16. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it right here. Uh, of course, Chrome always gets worried when you download uh, files that it doesn't always see all the time. Uh, you can safely keep this. We're going to open it up. You can't see this because it's hiding behind my picture. <laughs> and uh, in Windows, you can just unzip this or um, uh, extract it. Uh, I have 7-zip on here, so I'm just going to extract it right here. I'm going to put this back in the main engine area. Oh, well, I'm really just going too fast here. And I'm going to delete this stuff. So this is the Stockfish exec file. Um, and as you can see, it's about... 40 megabytes compressed, so it's pretty big. Um, and compared to Stockfish 15, Stockfish 15 was 47 megabytes. Now, don't be fooled by this. Basically, this is the uncompressed version of the NNUE file embedded in here. They figured out how to compress it a little bit to save some download time in here. So it's actually the knowledge is bigger in this one. Um, I'm just going to click on this just to make sure it works. When you click on it, this pops up. It says Stockfish 16. That's how you know it's there. If you ever want to get in here and look at the nuts and bolts, you just type in UCI, and it'll give you all these options that you can read about on the net. No reason for us to deal with it today. All right, so we've downloaded this, and we want to install it in Chessbase. So I'm going to open up my Chessbase 16. We have Chessbase open. Uh, to install an engine in Chessbase, you open a board. And I'm actually going to turn my face off here. There we go, my face is off so you don't have to see me. Um, we're gonna create the UCI engine. And we're gonna find that file, that folder where it lived. And we're gonna create Stockfish 16. Stockfish 16, there we go. All right, so now when we click on Add Kibitzer, we should have Stockfish 16 in here along with all the other engines I've collected over the years. Um, I'm going to do one thing real quick. I'm going to move Stockfish 15 back from my... So you notice when you go in here, you can do... Um, sorry, engine management. You can move engines back and forth. If you have old engines that you don't use anymore, you can move them into inactive engines, and then you can get them later. I'm going to move Stockfish 15 back just for comparison purposes. And now that we've got this all set up, I'm going to find a game. Let's go to... Oh, my goodness. Let's go to the Weekend Chess. Let's find a game from the weekend chess. Let's, uh, hmm. Ray Robson just won the Prague Masters on tie breaks. Let's see if we can find a game where he played. Oh, Robson against Gelfand. This is supposed to be a very nice game. Ah, yeah, this is the weird move. So we have a story up on this, um, on uschess.org from JJ Lang. And uh, as he looked at this, he realized that this move that, that Robson plays here, knight d6, um, is very, very rare in this position, in this four knight Sicilian. Uh, the weird thing is that he played it, I want to say, twice. Um, 
He played it, I don't know if it was twice in this tournament, but he's played this twice now. And if we go to, yeah, this position here, knight d6, it's not even in the database yet. He's played this twice in, in short order, so he must really believe in this preparation. Um, I'm going to turn the engine on and just to sort of show you how the evaluation is different here. So we're going to put on 16. Uh, and immediately six, uh, it's going to go to eight cores because that's the maximum I have on this computer. Physical cores, I should say. I'm going to reduce that to three. And I'll show you why in a moment. So it is reduced to three. And now I'm going to add Stockfish 15. Come on, Stockfish. You can do it. Ah, see, now it's at six. So I'm going to set this to three. Okay. So, uh, let's actually just go back, and, and that way we can sort of get an apples-to-apples -apples comparison here. Um, at three CPUs... Wow, Stockfish 15 is uh, a little slower in this position than Stockfish 16. I did not expect that. Um, but you'll notice the evaluations are a little different, and that's because of the NNUE engine and its difference. The brains of the engine are a little bit different, so to speak. Um, I want to get to this position right here, Knight D6. And this is where you can sort of really see the evaluation being different. Um, Stockfish 15 thinks white is got an advantage, whereas Stockfish 16 is more sanguine. Um, and that's because the evaluations have sort of been scaled back to make them more palatable for human eyes. Um, and it's by roughly a factor of 1.6, at least in early positions. So we can, we can see that at work here. Um, and they also are, are thinking different moves are different. Uh, 16 thinks Bishop E2 is demonstrably best, whereas 15 thinks that Bishop E2 and C4 are of roughly the same, well, it keeps changing, but of roughly the same uh, use, utility. So knight d6, uh, and this is high-level chess at its best. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you you search down and find a move that the computer doesn't hate, and then you study it, and this is, this is what opening preparation looks like. Uh, okay, takes c5. Um, and again, already you can see the difference here. Uh, the evaluations are, are swinging back and forth a little bit more in 15. They are uh, not changing as much, or they don't have as big swings in 16. Um, yeah, I, I don't actually, I haven't looked at this game yet, so we'll take a quick look. Because I know um, this is being lauded as a, a very well-played game by Robson. A3, bishop b3, queen f6, queen b2. One wonders how much of uh, home preparation this is. Takes. Wow, welcoming pressure. But if White knows what he or she is doing, I guess White is doing fine here. It's interesting to see that you know there have been some search evaluations and speed ups, so that even though 16 has a bigger brain, so to speak, than 15, it's actually a little faster, or 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 at least about as fast as 15. That's actually really good to know. Um, I'm a little surprised by that. What are we missing? Oh my. Really? He's going to give the exchange. For that pressure. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. So to see f uh, full details on this, I know JJ, uh, JJ Lang has annotated this game for US Chess. Uh, you can go to uschess.org and click on the story on this. Um, we'll also put it in the show notes so that you can see it. Uh, I have not looked at this game. I am actually quite interested to see how this is going to work because, um, I mean, black's down in exchange, and I don't see what the compensation is. Maybe that's why he wins. I don't know. Um, anyway, you can sort of see how this works. Let's let's try to find something different. Let's find a let's find a Catalan. Let's find a Catalan real quick and see if we can. By the way, if you want to sort a database uh, by ECO, you just click on any one of these tabs you can sort by tournament or player uh, but i want to find a catalan because that or actually you know let's, let's find a king's indian let's find a let's find some of these here something here title tuesday game 
All right, so again, I'm going to put in Stockfish 16. I'm going to turn it down to three CPUs. Basically, I'm doing this just so I don't max out my system while I'm streaming. And I'll put on Stockfish 15, and it'll take a second. And I'm going to turn that down to three CPUs so that it's even. All right, and now we've got a typical Mardell plot of King's Indian. And again, you can sort of see here, uh, the evaluations are bigger for 15. Um, you know, it's, it's fairly well known that, that Stockfish tends to like white in these positions, although that has gotten better in recent years. Um, Leela tends to evaluate the closed positions, or at least traditionally has evaluated them a little better, although at this point Stockfish is, is so strong it's probably accurate just about anywhere. Um, yeah, but h3 is a weird move. That seems like something that just makes a hook, but okay. 98, b4. And you can see the evaluation difference pretty clearly as we go through here. Bishop g5, that is a mistake. f4 is not a mistake. I guess you want to play h6 first and kick it out. But now c5 should be very nice. Yeah. Interesting to see the evaluation difference. Black, uh, uh, white is, is is still favored by a little bit more with, with 15. Um, 16, the playing strength is stronger. Its accuracy is supposed to be better. But I think at the end of the day, it's that normalization of the evaluation that will will be really, uh, that is useful here. And they're keeping that, by the way, through every version they do in the future. So 0 0.74 means roughly the same thing in 16 as it will in 17 or 18, unless something changes. Um yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you leave your cell phone on, folks, and I'm not re-recording this. Um, yeah, so really interesting. I think, um, you know, if you are a power user or if you just want the best analytical tools, I think 16 is, is very, very important for you to use. Uh, and it's easy to download, easy to obtain. Um, I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to put my webcam back on. And uh, yeah, so if you have any questions about Stockfish or how to download it or how to use it, um, we're going to be doing videos on Chessbase in the future. We're going to be doing videos about uh, analyzing your games with uh, different interfaces. Uh, we do have a video already about how to uh, incorporate uh, your own engines like Stockfish 16 into Lee Chess, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so we've uh, got all these videos coming. Uh, definitely keep an eye here on what we're doing. And uh, yeah, leave some comments and let me know what you think. As always, uh, thanks for watching my tech tips. Um, yeah, and um, have a good day.